Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, as we take down the holiday decor around the house, the room might feel a bit empty, like lacking something. So how about a house plant or two? Master Gardener Cisco Morris is here to share some of his all-time favorite house plants. Is this really called a flamingo plant? It is called a flamingo plant. Doesn't that look like a flamingo? Uh, it does. Kind of. I actually, when I heard that you were coming on the show talking about flamingo pants, I decided to wear this you jacket. You match. You so match. So I could stand on perfect. one leg with my flamingo hey, jacket. I could probably do that and too. talk to you the whole time. No, I don't think you want that. I'm, just, I'm not a pink one. I'm a red one. It's yeah. Like, I, Look at us, a couple of flamingo plants. Uh, uh, what do you love about this house plant? Well, these go? are called anthuriums. Okay. And uh, they come in lots of different colors and sizes. They had one with this orange flower. It was like six inches, and I tried to get the nursery to let wow. me have one to show, but it only had like two flowers. <laughs> it wouldn't let me and have one. you trying to cut it? Yeah, I wanted to wow, cut it off. Wow, they were like, so Cisco, could, yeah, do we like, have to take your scissors away? They were watching away? me careful, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but... Uh, they come in all different colors, sizes of flowers, and the thing is, this is a house plant that blooms all winter long, oh. which is so cool, you know, because you've got constant color. As long as you do a few of the right things, they'll just keep blooming and blooming. Now, we've always had these in our house when I was a kid growing up. I feel like someone always brought these over as a gift. They're always so shiny, but I don't remember them like lasting a really long time, so maybe we should talk about how to keep them alive. Yeah, see, that's the problem. I, first of all, bright light is the name of the game. They want bright light. N not okay. direct sunlight, though. Okay. So I have mine in a west window behind a sheer curtain, and so they bloom Diffused all. light. Diffuse. You know what, Cisco? I like diffuse light too. Nothing too harsh. Yeah, it's just perfect, you know. It is. Makes you look really good. <laughs> just like uh, these plants, like. Well, and and see now this one's blooming like this. That's because it's. I bought that yesterday. <laughs> so in the greenhouse, we appreciate the perfect honesty. Perfect conditions. Right. In your house, you're only going to get like you know maybe one flower for a while, then a new one takes its okay, place. Okay, so but don't don't expect blooms. a lot. Just maybe one or two yeah. flowers. But in By the summer, way, they start blooming way. Oh, heavier. they do. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you? Is this sure. the actual flower? Because it has like a leaf-like quality look to it. Is this the oh, actual you flower? You nailed it. You nailed it. This is called a bract, bract. or a spat. Yeah, bract. Okay. And what it is, it's a modified leaf. Okay. To attract pollinators to the flower, which is this little spike right there. So that's the flower with the little yeah, tiny it's got, things it's on it. It's got hundreds of little flowers going Ooh, all the way up to the top. How pretty. How yeah. interesting. That is fascinating. Yeah, isn't it cool? And you know what's funny? Everybody thinks these are from Hawaii. Where are they from? No, they're from South America, the Caribbean, oh. Central America, and you see them up in, I've been hiking like in Ecuador in the yeah. jungle, you see them growing out of the branches, so it needs I, yeah. a little moss and they can grow on it. So they're pretty hardy in that sense. I can see some, they yep. almost look like orchid um, uh, roots. In yeah, the sometimes sense. they send roots out, that's all right. You it's can cut okay. them off or you can leave them, I spritz them now and then okay. to make sure they get. Um, so, can you put these outside in our Pacific Northwest summer? In the summer, in the summer? you know, these hate anything below 55 degrees. Okay. That's one problem with these. Although my house Same gets as me. down to in the 40s, and they're okay still at okay. night. You know, even my dogs are freezing on the couch. And poor thing. This is what happens <laughs> when you marry a Canadian. What can I say? <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Uh, you How don't does want Mary to... like it? Is she just walking around in a snuggie all oh, the time? I'll tell you what, she loves it cold. She's okay. got all the windows wide open. Oh la la. So, uh, so that, but uh, uh, you. So the thing is, you don't want them to get too cold. Bright light and water them what? whenever they feel dry. You okay? Water them when they feel dry. And, like what is that like a week or so uh, it's more like every two weeks I okay. think. okay but and look at this see how this is drooping yeah so when uh, the minute i see that happen i know it's time to water okay that's how drooping. i really do it um do you need to trim them up or anything does yeah, someone need to come yeah, off you know what here's the key 
when the flowers get old, yeah. here, I'll let you okay, do what it. Do you want me to do? You gotta cut them off. So I, this flower, I don't know, there's something wrong with it. I don't, okay, it's so, you don't know, I love that you don't know, there's something wrong with it. Where do I cut it, <laughs> at the bottom? supposed to be, yeah, right at the bottom. At the these are supposed to be bright orange. Where are you going? So, okay, I find you. It's still I know, pretty it though, be, I mean, are you sure tricky. you want me to cut it? It's not I know, hideous. I'm getting a little nervous about this. I'm not this. gonna cut it. You know what, <laughs> you do you, little flower. <laughs> you grow how you were meant to grow. <laughs> Well, the main thing is just make sure you cut the whole stem down okay, to the base. Okay, that's good to know. And if you make a mistake, you cut off about five of the leaves. So, <laughs> gotta be gotta be, be calm very careful. when you do this. Thank you for sharing this beautiful plant with us. I love the flamingo plant oh, just as much them. as I love you. Happy New Year, oh, my friend. Oh, Happy New Year! Oh my goodness! All right. Well, coming up, we're calling Doug.